All right, guys. So the CISA has released an emergency directive 2101 as of January 6th. And I'm just going to go over it. If you um, don't have time to look at the article, I'm, I got all the uh, updates. So I'm just going to share it with you right now. And be sure to stay till the end because I do have an announcement I wanted to share with you guys, and I think you might like it. Okay, so the CISA have confirmed that there was a count abuse with SAML tokens, so that's taking the SAML tokens and you know using the token um, and signing it, and then accessing a cloud app with it. So that's the on-premise AD compromising that, taking that SAML token, and then now that it's compromised, they'll use it to sign into your single sign-on applications. Uh, the CISA is investigating TTPs consistent with this activity where victims do not leverage SolarWinds or no SolarWinds exploitation activity observed. This is the scary part. This message means they are investigating tactics that are consistent with this type of activity that don't match SolarWinds product. And they're investigating right now, so there hasn't been an update around that, but they're not following the SolarWinds methods, but um, the way they're exploiting these type of uh, organizations is through password guessing and password spraying. These are just normal means, but once they get access and they get elevated privileges, the, w the methods of gaining the persistency in your organization is very similar to this activity, okay? Uh, also, the adversary has been observed using multiple persistence mechanisms uh, across a variety of intrusions. So that includes adding the service principal account, assigning tokens and certificates to the application, and adding new federation trust. So that aligns with what I talk about in episode two. So if, if you want to know more about that, go to episode two, and I kind of map out what that looks like. Objectives. The uh, initial objective appears to be just to collect information from the environment. There's a lot of just reconnaissance, collect information. And again, this is by compromising that SAML token and then using it to sign on to applications. What the SAML certificates could be used for, and once it's signed and they have a authorized a credential, they could use it to access your hosted email services, access your hosted business intelligence applications, travel systems, time card systems, and file store services. The CISA created Sparrow.ps1 to help detect against possible compromised accounts and applications in Azure M365 environment. I covered that in episode three where I show you that PowerShell script and I run through what that script is trying to do. The detection. So... Most organizations have SAML tokens with one hour um, validity, periods, meaning one hour it expires. If you notice a long SAML token longer than 24 hours, you're going to, that's going to be unusual and something you need to look for. You also need to look for tokens with missing or unusual MFA that doesn't coincide with your cloud access log. So if you look at your identity logs and you look at cloud access log and the tokens, don't seem to match up with what it should be, that's also something suspicious. The mitigation, so there's three different buckets they're putting everything in. Either one, you don't have any malicious binaries, you don't have any code, you can confirm that the binary was not present or there's no IOCs matching this attack, that's category one. So number two is there's presence of the malicious binary, but there was no indication that it reached category three. Category three is you notice that there's follow-on activity. It's talking to the C2. So category two is it did not talk to the C2. Category three, it did talk to the C2. And that's when it gets bad because the C2 is sending the commands to the server to do things, right? And try to obtain that uh, persistence, right? So if you notice it did talk to the C2 and it made those communications, then then you would probably be in the category three bucket. And if you are in category three bucket, if your administrator credentials were compromised and the SAML uh, tokens were abused and you're federated, um, simply mitigating the systems and resetting those certificates are not enough. You would have to assume that everything is compromised. Your entire trust store is compromised. So you're going to have to fully rebuild your identity and trust services to successfully remediate. It's going to be more complex, so follow the guidance in the links in the description to go through that list, okay? So again, guys, 
episode two is covering around various uh, methods of elevating privileges. So that's going to be the SAML tokens. That's going to be trying to, you know, federate in your environment. That could be trying to take the uh, build some kind of client app and then having the client app access your mail log. So a lot of these is going to be covered in episode two. Episode three is covering the uh, Sparrow tool, the CISA Sparrow tool. Episode three is very important because if you are not monitoring creation of your SPNs, your SAML tokens, your federation, your uh, authentication, and you're not managing your certificates and have that a grasp on who's assigning what in this activity, this might be a vector that the adversary will leverage and it might try to stay hidden. The reason the adversary uses SPNs is because it doesn't link to a user. So when you look at your user log, you may not see it, and it's all through the SPN. So having that Sparrow tool and just incorporating into your workflow of monitoring it or leveraging Azure Sentinel to trigger an alert is going to be very helpful for you. All right, so I just want to ask you guys a question. Would you be interested in participating in a red team, blue team exercise where you would be the blue team, you would have access to Microsoft products on a demo environment. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the logistics, but would you be interested in participating where, again, you would be the blue team and uh, me and my colleague, Matt Sosman, would be the red team and generate attacks while you try to figure it out as we go through sort of a miter kill chain. Let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, click on the bell so you get notified when that live stream occurs. All right, thanks everyone. Have a good day.